applications of total internal reflections. Eh? Prism binocular. Yeah, prism binocular. If okay, if you want to use a binocular, okay, to enlarge something which is very far away, okay, uh, then you need to have two pieces of uh, lens. Eh? Okay, there's uh, one lens here and one lens here. Okay, two pieces of lens. If you want to get a brighter image, okay, and a bigger image, eh? Uh, these two pieces of lenses, okay, uh, the distance uh, can be quite far away, yeah, quite far away. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's a fifty cm or a hundred cm, okay. It can be quite far away. So if it's quite far away, if you straight away build the binocular by using the the, the lens, okay, then the binocular will become very long. It will be something like this, okay? One piece, again, there's another one, okay? So it's very long. Because the light ray need, need to move uh, a certain uh, length of path, then only uh, it can go to the second lens, eh? okay? So it's too long. So one of the methods uh, to reduce the distance between the two lenses is by using uh, prisms to reflect the light, okay? So the light can go here, Okay, reflect it back and go here and go here. Okay, so then it's, 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 if uh, it's reflected, okay, for a few times, then the, the distance maybe from here to here is already 50 cm. Eh? Okay, so then the, so the binocular don't need to be very, very long. Then you may ask the questions, okay, you may ask the questions, uh, then so why we want to use total internal reflection? Why don't we use, uh, let's say, mirror? Why don't we use mirror? Okay. Now the reasons, okay, the reason that we don't use mirror is because if you use prism eh, for total internal reflection, there are two advantages. Eh? One is is brighter. It's brighter. Why? Because uh, almost hundred percent eh, of the light is reflected. Hundred percent of the light is reflected. But if you use uh, mirror, just part of the light is reflected not 100 percent okay maybe 80 percent okay 80 percent of the light reflected but if, if you use total internal reflections then 100 percent of the lights will be reflected okay that is the first uh reasons second uh, second reasons okay for total internal reflections there is no double image now what is double image huh? let's say you use mirror mirror usually there's a piece of glass a piece of glass okay and at the backs of the glass, then we have a layers of silver. We have a layers of silver. The silver is the substance that reflect the light. Eh? Okay. So when light ray come, the light ray. Uh, let's use another color for the light ray. Let's say we use an orange color. Use straight line. So when the light ray heat on the glass, it will be reflected. Okay. It will be reflected by the glass. Because it, the glass is transparent, it may undergo uh, refractions, okay, go inside and then reflected by the silver and then it undergoes uh, refractions, okay. Uh, so from here, we can see that one light ray uh, split into two, uh, okay. So then so this will form double image, yeah, double image. This image is very close to each other, so normally you won't realize, but it will make the image become not very clear, okay, not very clear. Uh, that's why we use a total internal reflection because total internal reflections no double image, yeah? so uh, no double image. Okay, is the advantages uh, of using total internal reflections over uh, using mirror. So prism is used in binocular to shorten the length between the eyepiece and the objective lens. This is eyepiece, uh, this is objective lens. And the reflected ray produce an upright image when reaching the eye of the user. So by using this total internal reflection, you will get an upright image. Eh? Okay. So by using a normal telescope, eh, you you will get an uh, inverted image. Eh? Okay, inverted image. But uh, after the reflection, you get an upright image. Eh? Periscope. Okay. So this is the diagram of periscope. Okay. So you can see that when light ray going in, light ray going in, it will be reflected. And then so another light ray coming in, okay, it will be reflected. And then you can see that the orange light is on top, the orange light is on top, the green light 
below the green light below means that the image that you see is upright eh? the image that you see is upright so prism are used to construct a periscope the light ray entering the periscope undergoes total internal reflections the image seen through the periscope is upright and same size as the object okay so that is for a prism periscope diamond so when you see diamond okay it's very shining right that is because the critical angles of diamond is very the density is very high eh? okay very high so therefore the critical angle is very small 24 degree eh? so as a result total internal reflections can easily happens so multiple total internal reflections makes diamonds sparkle let's say you have a piece of diamonds okay and uh, the design is like this yeah there are certain angles that uh, they will cut to certain angles uh, this diamond so when there's light ray come in let's say the light ray come in okay they come in here and as it does not go out uh, okay it will be reflected 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 and then uh, reflected okay and then reflected out you see uh it can easily undergo total internal reflections uh, okay so so the light ray can be reflected back easily and come out from a different uh, surface okay you see this surface this surface okay there's a lot of surface that you can see this light come up so it, it makes the diamonds looks sparkling uh cat's eye reflector okay so you see this one okay all these are the cat eyes reflector so the cat eye reflectors on road reflects the light ray from the headlamp so if you drive your car okay you're on the headlamps so the headlamps heat on the this cat eye reflector and then the the light will be reflected back eh? to the driver's eye owing to the total internal reflections eh? okay so this is another diagram of the cat eye reflector okay you see this is the light from the headlamp so it go into the cat eye reflector go inside and then undergoes reflections total in total internal reflection here total internal reflections total internal reflections come out and then go back to the eye of the uh, driver so therefore the driver will see the light okay you will see all this like it, it looks like it's, it's, it's the lamp okay but actually there's no lamp okay this light is come from the headlamp of the car itself eh? the cat eye reflector optical fiber uh fiber optics is widely used in telecommunications and uh, medical instruments such as endoscope in optical fibers the light rays undergoes total internal reflections if the path is not straight okay now if you're using unifier yeah, for your internet stands uh you're using uh, optical fiber okay you're using optical fibers so optical fiber actually is a piece of glass eh? but there's a lot of glasses there huh? okay it's a piece of glass and then this light of different frequency yeah? okay the frequency of the light is the informations okay it's the informations so when it go into the uh this optical fibers and in inside this optical fiber there are two layer okay there are two layers the inner layer is the glass okay it's the glass and then we have an outer cladding this outer cladding has low refractive index means that the light ray when it go inside okay so it will be from denser to less dense huh? from denser to less dense then it can undergo uh total internal reflections okay total internal reflections reflections total internal reflections huh? okay the light ray come out uh, so the inner layer with higher refractive index the outer layer with lower refractive index and you must know this eh? so then the light ray undergoes total internal refractions and come out so this is very useful in uh, telecommunications eh? okay to transfer information information is the frequency of the light so we change the information to the frequency of the light and then we transfer it by using optical fiber okay and uh, because it's light uh, it can move very fast eh? we know that light move very fast right okay and then uh, because it's inside optical fibers so uh, very little energy is lose uh, in the process of transferring uh, compared to by using copper wire copper wire because it has resistance uh, so a lot of uh, this energy will lose in between uh, the two points of this uh, transfer so that is optical fiber